Hi everybody, this is Graham from the Gorilla Store and it's Friday and I thought we'd look at some of the new surplus we got in this week. We're going to start off with this gorgeous switch here. This is a Trumbull. Look at the size of the voltage on that. This was, you know, 100 amps. This, this, is, this is a huge factory piece. This is not something that we're going to sell. This will be available for rental if you're doing like a stage play or a movie or a TV show and you want something, you know, very Igor, pull the lever kind of thing. Um, but what I really want to get to is we have new test equipment. Now test equipment is lab gear that you would be using to test things. Motors, antennas, all of that kind of stuff. So we have a bunch of different pieces. This one you can see, here we are, signal generator. So these are all working. These are out of a working lab. This one's all nice seven segment displays. All the switches are really clean. It's been kept in really excellent condition. So we've got a couple of other pieces from the same place. Over here, let's see, we've got a millivolt meter and a AC range volt meter. So both nice desktop units. If you're working with like smaller, smaller voltages and and, and things. Now this one's in AC, so it's not gonna, really going to be used for um, Arduino projects or Raspberry Pi or anything like that, but you could probably find a use for this in something similar. If you're doing anything with um, AC motors or stepper motors, stepper motors would use an AC wave that you could then measure the draw on it with this one. And uh, then a larger AC unit. So if you're working with, again, bigger motors, there's a lot of range on this. Um, you know, all the cords are intact. They're really well done. Some of these still have their, yeah, their certification labels on them. Uh, I picked up two really nice signal generators. Now this one's in the megahertz range, so it's, a, it's obviously outside of our hearing range. This would be, you know, testing your radio equipment. Um, again, if, if it's something like you've got a TV or a movie and you need something with like dials and knobs and have something that, you know, an actor can play with that goes click, click, click. That's it. And let's see, over here, this is another one. This is in the kilohertz. So this one will go anywhere from, what are we here? 120 kilohertz all the way up to 500 megahertz. So a lot of range on this. This has a really neat geared mechanism. So you can see that turning the knob here in the middle turns more than the outside does. And this is how you select your band, you know, which of these scales you're using right here and then whether your exterior mode or any of the RF outputs here and made by Stark Industries. So, good for Comic-Con. Now, uh, here it is. <clears throat> this is something that is completely obsolete in many cases, but this is an old tester for transistors. Nowadays, all of this is done on your multimeter. It's right on the front. There's just like six little black holes. You poke your transistor into it. This will test those things, at least as far as I've checked on this. I could be completely wrong. Let me know down in the comments. But again, look at the colors. Like equipment is not built like this anymore. Just to be able to like play with the color wheel like this I mean, it's way better than just like five red numbers or anything like that. Now, as AVE said, the piece of resistance, two excellent oscilloscopes. So if you've never had the pleasure of working with an oscilloscope, they are, there's just something you can mess around with and do a bunch of stuff with. You can plug in a radio signal, you can plug in, I can't turn sideways, can I? You can plug in a radio signal, you can plug in a TV signal, you can plug in a microphone, and you'll get, you know, a wibbly display. And if you play around with it enough, you can even get a nice ring that'll then like spin around or it'll look like a slinky or lots of fun stuff. These are just, these are just an awesome lab toy. So we have two of these. Both of these are Tektronics. Oh, this one's not. This is this is by somebody else. This color blue here is, you know, if you're buying a scope, look for the color blue. They're trying to be as close to Tektronics, and Tektronics is the best brand for old scopes. And these things are built like bricks. You you can't. It's a tank. You can't break these. You can repair these till the cows come home. They're always going to be easy to repair. So, yeah, 
So if you're looking for a new project or something to mess around with and learn something new and you need a scope, come and see us.